Hey everyone, Snook here. Welcome to my Battlefield 3 game review. I was actually like really lucky to get this on the day it came out. My shop had like three copies left on the shelf for the PC. Well, limited edition copy anyway. Standard edition, I think it's probably still stocked up. I doubt anyone actually bought it because you just get so many extras with the limited edition. I mean, you get like Back to Karkrand, which is included in price, which is like four created maps from Battlefield 2, with all the old vehicles on there as well. Um, I think you also get like a light machine gun, a shotgun, some sort of fancy shotgun ammo, and I think you also get like a suppressor or something for a sniper rifle. Anyway, onto the uh, gameplay. Visuals are just like amazing. I've been, I've only been playing this on like high quality. Um, with a few custom settings, and as you can see, it's fucking beautiful to look at. Um, the game itself has like a few bugs and glitches that I've spotted, but like nothing too serious that can't be fixed and patched. The single player I haven't actually touched yet. I've been playing through the co op missions with a friend, but I would assume the single player campaign is on a similar level with the co op anyway. So I just thought I'd review Over Co op and give my verdict on this. Um, I have played the multiplayer a fair bit, and at times it's pretty fucking difficult. I mean, this game honestly rewards you like so much more if you work together. But as I've been playing it, I just realised that like some people really don't get that. I actually had a game where I was sat like um, holding one of the points in rush, and for like five minutes. Not one guy on my squad actually thought, oh I know, I'll give him an ammo box. These these guys on my squad could have made like fucking a thousand points each off me, you know, I was sat there, I was just shooting down fucking guy after guy for about five minutes, like I said. Um, if people just use the brains on this game, I mean, I know it's only been out like, what, two days, but... Um, generally, if you see like some guy going, I need ammo, you know, give him fucking ammo. I have played like pretty much every game mode now and the ones I like so far are Russian team deathmatch. Reason being is it kinda stops campers from camping. I haven't really seen that many people camping on this game, most likely due to like Frostbite 2 engine to be honest. Cause it pretty much just allows you to tear down buildings with RPGs and noob tubes. Um on a side note actually, I've only actually come across one dude. Um yeah, one dude who's actually abused noob tubes so far. So overall the only rant I have with the game so far in the multiplayer is that people just need to work as a team. Because this game really doesn't reward you if you're doing lone wolfing. Um, I mean, I'm currently playing as like Assault, which has been merged with the Medic in this game, so like two classes are one. Which I personally think is a really smart move by EA if you ask me. It means I actually get a decent weapon to gun people down with. I also get like a medic box and you can also unlock a defib to keep your team alive. So it's pretty sweet. I haven't actually touched all of the classes yet. Originally I did want to start with support, assuming that everybody needs ammo boxes. Um, but I will say this, support is like really hard to play. Assuming that like to get a really good like long range shot you need to be sat on the ground to keep your gun stable with bipod attachment. I can't see many people using those guns to start with. I've seen quite a few people using all class weapons like shotguns and stuff just so they can level up quicker which if I'm honest I don't blame them because one of the starting sniper rifles on the beta like made me rage like fuck because it didn't work and then when it did work and you hit someone with it, they probably just keep fucking running. Because you did like 20% damage to them, and honestly, I'd have done a better job if I were throwing fucking cushions at them. Anyway, off my little rant, um, with vehicles in Battlefield 3, I've only touched two of them so far, which was like the armored jeep or Humvee and the um, chopper that's in one of the co op missions. The jeep's pretty good and it's really fast, I'll say that much, and the gun on it sounds amazing. In fact, it's actually that amazing when it got to the point where I had to turn the game sound down because I was deafening myself. So yeah, I would actually say it works like really good as a 50 cal machine gun. The chopper itself I didn't actually pilot. I was gunning in that but the controls of it were pretty good. Um, when you fire off a lock missile, it gives you such great joy watching stuff get shattered to pieces when it hits them. Also, the automatic machine gun 
it rips up turf like no tomorrow. I mean, I was just ploughing through people on that mission. When we actually did the co-op mission, none of us had a flight stick, which in the previous Battlefield games for PC, it was pretty much a must-buy accessory, and my friend who was piloting for the first time in that mission actually used his key button and kept it stable as hell, to the point where he could hover about 20 feet above buildings, so I think EA have like made the piloting of choppers for people who don't have all the gaming equipment easier, but not exactly better. Also, as you will see in the video, in the co-op mission it's not exactly sure about the single player and multiplayer. You get like special scopes on your guns, and this thermal imaging one is just such great fun to play with. I absolutely loved it, and it's really accurate, and the thermal viewing on it is just incredibly clear. Anyway, my overall score for this game is a 9 out of 10. The reason being for that is that I don't think the game has been fully punched up on full release. I mean, the sound quality and the graphics are good, but there is just little things that annoy me, um, such as the new battle log and origin thing, where you have to launch up a web page just to play the game. I mean, if I wanted to play single player offline, does this mean that I couldn't do it? Also, um, launching into the like server and stuff like that, it'll say that they aren't full, so you press join and then it'll like take like five minutes trying to launch into the game. And then once you're in there it might crash. I've seen so many issues with this so far. Um, I think they should just put it back to how it was. Anyway guys, it's coming to the end of my video now. I hope you liked it. And I'll see you soon.